So guys, I have been watching the new interview with a vampire that I believe is on A&E Plus or some such thing. I actually signed up because I wanted to watch it because the production values look so lush. The vampires look so hot and it looked like they weren't shying away from uh, the gay romance that is present between Lestat and Louis. But what really surprised me was how I was hating it. I will say it's beautifully acted, beautifully written. It's even updated a bit to go to, I think, the 1910s versus the 1700s. And I will say that they just did a beautiful job with it. They are not shying away from the gay romance at all. And they are, in fact, showing a lot of naked Lestat. And we can always have more naked Lestat. I think the actor who plays him is absolutely brilliant and captures the predator slash lover and all of that stuff. So why am I not enjoying it? Well, it feels like an old trope that we see in a lot of gay fiction that was, I would say, written in the past, which is it's a tragedy, right? It basically says that um, the stat trying to make a family with Louis, two gay men having to have a family with a daughter will never work out. It's always unnatural and it's bound to end in disaster. Now, you can look at the story and say, well, no, no, it's not because they're gay. It's because they're vampires or it's because Lestat's so desperate to keep Louis, he makes really bad choices. And yes, on the surface, that's true. But there is this deep-seated fatalism, I think, in the story that Anne Rice wrote, whether she meant to put it in there or not, essentially that says you cannot make a found family if you are a gay person and live happily ever after. It will always be unnatural. It will always become a tragedy and you will always end to regret it. And I think that it really is hitting me a lot more than it did when I originally read uh, Interview with a Vampire. And I was surprised at this almost visceral anger I felt as I was watching this show. And yet I am going to continue to watch it, I think, because it really does put the gay right out there. It's so gay. And it treats it very seriously. And um, it just, I love the idea of actually dealing with vampires and sexuality rather than the violence aspect because we see a lot of the violence and we miss a lot of the romance and a lot of stories that come out about vampires these days. But what I will say is that while I want to support this particular work because I really feel that they tried very hard to make this story excellent, I think the original source material is the problem. It probably is because it's dated. Would Anne Rice write this story the same way now if she were alive? There's also, I think, Louis's self-hatred for his sexuality, which is, I'm sorry, I'm just so sick and tired of seeing it. As a gay person myself, I cannot take yet another story of a gay person hating themselves and then loathing the person they're attracted to or the person who is out and is trying to get them to come out because they're like, you can live a life, we can have a life, be out here and then being like, no, no. And in the end, Anne Rice makes Louis right, yeah? She, she makes what happens between them end in some terrible thing. She makes Lestat a monster. Now, some will say it's because he's a vampire, but no, it's, it's really not. It's about his love for Louis, which is unnatural, and Lu Louis's love for him, which is unnatural, and therefore they can never have this um, happy ever after. It's almost like gay love is inherently toxic and will always fall apart. Interview with the Vampire was probably one of the first books that I read from a trad pubbed author that had a gay romance that was more than just hinted at, but it was like there. I mean, you still had to like search for it a little bit, but it was definitely there. And it was revelatory to me when I read it. I know it's revelatory for many, many people and beloved for that very reason. But I actually write stories about gay people 
falling in love and having a wonderful life that has nothing to do with their sexuality, nothing to do. There's no tragedy about them being gay and they certainly aren't going to die for being gay and their love will not be just crushed because they are gay in reaction to like interview with a vampire, because it seemed like this became the trope. If you are gay and in love, just expect something bad to happen if you're reading a story or watching a movie or seeing a television show. It was sort of like, okay, there's the gay guy. He's definitely going to die in some tragic, horrible way. And so I was writing and I continue to write almost in direct opposition to that. The stories I write, they're uplifting. It's a romance that happens to be between two men combined with action adventure, the male leads fall in love and they have a healthy relationship which helps them overcome evil and save the world. You will see that in each and every story I write. Though they're not without their issues, and they certainly argue, especially with like, for example, Independent Julian and Controlling Damon and Everdark. They're no different from any other couple with a good working partnership. I want to reflect healthy partners with a happily ever after with gay people having that just like anyone else. So while well, interview is of course really influential with myself and everyone who loves vampires, it's not really an inspiration for my vampires and my stories or any of my stories. Like I said, I write in opposition to this idea that as a gay person, you can't expect to have a good working relationship and a wonderful partner and saving the world and happily ever after. I wish I could enjoy it without feeling this deep sense of discomfort that this is once again, putting that trope out there is that you have to resist your sexuality and that if you don't resist, you'll have this hot and heated romance, but that it will end in tragedy. If there were more tropes out there, this wouldn't have such a powerful effect, I think, on me. I'd be able to accept it as just this particular story rather than something that's sort of overarching. So yeah, what do you guys think of Interview with a Vampire, both the book and the new television show and the old movie, if you've watched that as well? I'm really curious to what you have to say. I think um, what I'm probably saying is maybe a little like, People are going to be like, wow, you're, you're taking this much too seriously. But I, I felt this deep in my bones as I was watching this and I didn't understand why it was making me unhappy. And I, as I searched my mind and I talked to Kat about it, I realized what it was and she understood where I was coming from. So yeah, definitely tell me what you're thinking in the comments.